Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys have been requesting a video of me showing you guys how I do my everyday makeup and this is exactly what it is. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step what I do and all the products that I'm gonna be using and everything that I love right now. I'm so excited because I haven't done this in a very, actually I haven't done this on YouTube. I've done it on TikTok, but yeah, we're gonna bring it to YouTube of more girly things and let's get to it. All right guys, so first things first that I like to do in the morning before I do my makeup is I love to ice roll my face while I have these deep puffing eye patches under my eyes and it feels so good when you just go with the ice roller and you just go like this under your eyes and just like press on your skin. I really do feel like this helps with like deep puffing and under eye circles. Like I'm always tired. I always have under eye circles. So this starting off the day like this really helps and it just like really deep puffs your face. So I got this one. It is from the Skinny Confidential. Her name is Lauren Bostic. She has a podcast and she does like all these things for skincare and she has like these really amazing tools for your body so I got this there and it's really good you just put it in the freezer and it's good to go and it stays cold for a very very long time and then what I also have is these are the pixie deep puffing under eye patches they're so good you guys I've tried so many under eye patches and I feel like these are like the best ones and they're very affordable I got them at Target they just like have like these nice little cooling sensation and that, like I said it really does help so we're gonna take these little squishy things off I do have a little bit of lip gloss you guys I don't like to film or do anything without anything on my lips like I always have to have something on my lips let me show you guys what I've been loving lately my girl just put this on put, <laughs> put me on this so this is called the moisture glow plumping lip serum by Mario this is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist and this is in the color mocha glow and it's super moisturizing on the lips my lips get really dry quickly so I have to be very careful and this one is called petal glow so it has like such a pretty like pinky color it really does moisturize your lips it gives you that glossy look and this one is also this is probably my favorite it's like a darker color it's so pretty but anyways this is just something that you could just wear around the house or if you just go out and about and you want something on your lips that's not drying I definitely recommend so we got all this off I already did my skincare earlier but um, I like to use this primer this is the milk hydro primer and the reason I like this one is because my skin is so dry so I always have to be finding like the best things that keep my skin nice and moisturized and this is definitely the one I am obsessed so I just like to pat this on a little bit right here and I don't know if you guys noticed but my eyebrows I told you guys before that I was gonna be getting my eyebrows this inner part um, lasered away that's why it's just a little red right here I don't know if you guys noticed but I'm in the process of doing that just I felt like my eyebrows were just like so thick right here in the middle so I've been going to my laser appointments and getting that removed so now it's starting to look so much better now it's like not so close and it makes me look like I have a unibrow I just went on a trip so all my stuff is still right here and I'm just gonna be taking everything out This is like the perfect little bag. I got it from Target I feel like I'm always getting makeup bags because they just get so disgusting Have you guys noticed that like something breaks and your whole bag is just ruined lately? What I've been using is the Giorgio Armani foundation the luminous silk. It's such an OG Everyone knows about it. I'm sure you guys have heard of it or tried it But I really love it and I just been sticking with it um, when I like something I usually stick with it this is in this number 7.8 I'm always really tan so I like to just like match my obviously my, my body even though my face is just like really white um, what I was doing I was using such a light concealer you guys and I noticed it was not that long ago maybe like a few months ago I was looking at my pictures and I'm like why has anyone like no one has told me that my foundation is so like white nobody told me anything I had to figure this out myself I looked at my pictures and I was like what the hell I look like a ghost like this doesn't look good so my makeup artist in New York came and she did my makeup Makeup and she used this color and she's like no yeah you're this color like you have to match your neck and stuff so as you can tell I am NOT a makeup pro but this is the little brush that I like to use it is old I, don't, I really don't even know where it's from I just like wash it and I like reuse it but I took a break from the um, little sponge and just been doing this and I kind of re I really like it it's like a faster application and it just like goes everywhere okay foundation is on I look super weird but I like to kind of just like pat it with like a really big round brush and just kind of make sure everything is set and just make sure everything is nice and smooth you guys I have so many while I do this I'm gonna just like catch you up with like things that I have going on I cannot believe we're in are we in December no we're in November so so much stuff going on and I am just gonna say that I think me and Banks and Kellen is probably gonna come with too we are gonna be moving so my lease is up in April and I think we're gonna be moving to a bigger city I just feel like with the type of work that we do you guys see me traveling all the time to LA for like events and also to Florida for events I 
our talent agency actually is based over there. So I'm like, even though I love Arizona, I think we might have to move to a bigger city, either LA or Miami. It's one of those two. I'm gonna be looking around and we're gonna see what you guys are gonna come along. Just see the journey where we go. I really don't know. I've just been kind of trying to figure it out and I feel like it will come. This The answer will come on where we're gonna move. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. All the events and everything that we do just is either in LA or in Miami. Like I'm constantly traveling for work, so might as well just live there, you know what I mean? Okay, so next thing that I like to do is my eyebrows. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color dark brown. I like, I really like this one because it has the brush and it also has a pencil. And I also like to use this NYX brow brush and it also has like a little bit of a tint. It's old, so it already kind of came off the little lettering and stuff like that faded off. So let me just brush my eyebrows. I feel like we just get so busy during this time that I just like don't enjoy it because I'm just like constantly on the go with like work and just like birthdays and events and things like that. It's nuts. Once it hits October till January, it is insane. There's so many birthdays. No, actually from September to January, just insane. I don't know if you guys get like that, but just like overwhelmed with so many things that's going on. So my birthday is in December 6th and I'm thinking about going to Dubai with my girls. I actually just put two of my girls and I in a group chat and we're going to be talking about where we're going to stay and flights and everything, but I've never been to Dubai, you guys. I'm. It looks beautiful. If you guys have been to Dubai, let me know where I should go down in the comments because it was either between Dubai or Tokyo, but I feel like Tokyo is a little bit cold and Dubai right now it was like the perfect time, the perfect weather. So I'm excited. It's just gonna be a girl's trip. I just don't wanna mess up Banks's sleep because it's just a completely different time zone. And I just wanna have some girl time. I'm definitely gonna do something with him here to celebrate my birthday, but I just love traveling for birthdays, you guys. Like it's my thing. I just love traveling, period. Like this year is gonna be 2024. Is this 2024? I'm like, what? where are we? What year is it? Yeah, 2024 is gonna be a lot of traveling. I'm super excited. Now that Binks is like older, I feel like we could definitely do more stuff. He's able to walk now, talk, understand things. This is where I look so weird. What I've been loving lately are cream eyeshadows. Ever since the summer, I've just been using some cream eyeshadows. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow in the color amber gold. And it's just like a really pretty brown. See, I'm almost done with it. It's so pretty, it shimmers, and your eyes just look nice and dewy. So we're gonna do that today. This is like my everyday go-to look. And when I, when I like something, I just kind of stick with it for a while. I might change it up here in a couple weeks, but this is what I'm doing currently. And I just like dab it on my eyelid and it just looks so pretty, you guys are gonna see. I really like to stick with like golds, browns, nudes on my eyes. And then I also have been doing a lot of eyeliner. I used to never do under eye eyeliner, but now I do it every single day. I just feel like it looks really exotic, really pretty. So Kellen and I just did like our first video ever on TikTok since we broke up. It was, uh, we took thanks trick or treating. And it's so funny. Everyone was like in the comments was like, Alex looks so uncomfortable like nothing ever makes her happy and it's like I wasn't uncomfortable you guys I was having such a good time I had like these stickers on my face uh, because I was dressed as Sally me and Banks dressed as Jack and Sally and so anytime I moved the stickers would come off so I was always like this you know and it's funny about how people are just like she just looks so mad and everything and I was like no you guys like if I smiled you know you guys always see me smiling if I smile the stickers on my face were gonna come off so it's just funny what people think but no I had we had a great time like as you guys know we are co-parenting no drama no anything bad we just want to give like the best life to our son and he's always our priority i am not trying to traumatize my kid like no that's the last thing i want to do so you guys see the eyeshadow right doesn't it look so pretty it's just nice and golden if it's nighttime i like to do the outer corners with like a darker brown but since it's during the day we're just gonna keep it chill and then i like to use this little brush just to kind of clean it up kind of just to clean up the sides and just like spread it out on the lid next thing i just started using this concealer and I am obsessed. So before I used to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and now I use this one by Makeup by Mario and it's so much better. So this one's called the Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer in the color, I get, I don't know, it's 200. It has a little number 200 right there. It doesn't have a name or anything. So it doesn't crease, it's nice and bright and 
it just looks so good you guys a little does a long way so we're just gonna pop this right here a little here a little here and a little here I forgot to wet my sponge I'll be right back all right so we're just gonna lightly dab it into the skin you guys can see that it is actually really bright oh my god it's so bright but it's gonna look good when everything is blended um and then we're gonna bake with the Huda Beauty uh, banana bread uh, setting powder so let's do that I have this little mini one I love it I like to get the small ones because then I could just like easily just travel with it you know I am always on the go we're always on the go so anything that's like travel size I love to get okay so I'm gonna dab this here so another thing that I like to do a lot of people don't do this but I like to do this is I get more foundation so I'll do another pump but this is gonna be with the sponge so I get another pump of this and then I do a tiny 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 little bit of concealer just like a little dab and then I go back and then I add more foundation I just feel like I like this look better because if I just leave it as it is it, it looks dry and powdery and I don't like that kind of like muddy and so I like to add just a tiny little layer of foundation over this and it just kind of blends well for me nobody does this you see how it's like nicely blended it's still really bright but we're gonna do some contour I like to get the Huda Beauty hopefully I'm saying it right Huda Beauty contour and bronze cream in the color light and then I also like to get here it is duh it's right in front of me the Fenty Beauty uh, instant warmth bronzer in the color island pink so we're gonna grab this first I'm gonna do a little bit of cream and then I have this a nice like pointy brush and we're just gonna go on the outer side outer corners of my face this is just gonna bring some warmth that way it's not just like all one color I like to do it better with this instead of it being like a contour stick I like to just like dip it in here and have it more of like a just like a better application and then I like to do my cheeks so so now I just kind of go back and forth I do a little bit of powder and just kind of set it with that it's so funny when I do my makeup I am so rough with myself and I'm just like you know what I mean just like really hard on my face and then when I get my makeup done by makeup artists they're just like so light and just like have like this nice artist hand and I'm like I feel like I'm not even getting anything done because they're just so light with their hands which is nice but for me I'm like you mean you guys see me I'm going crazy on my face I don't know why I do that all right so a little bit of contour is done we brought some warmth to my face and now we're gonna go back to the eyes I really like to just kind of go all around there's not like a specific thing that I do first and then second it's just kind of like a little bit all over the place we're gonna go back to the cheeks in a little bit I got the Sephora liquid eyeliner brush tip and it's really good I like it and we're just gonna do our upper eye uh, liquid eyeliner I forgot to mention but this is in the color it's waterproof and it's in the color black I like to do a little bit of a wing and nothing too crazy the only thing I notice about these liquid eyeliners is that it they kind of like dry at the end they dry up so I like to put them like upside down if I'm home so now we're gonna do lashes and I love to use these are my go-to I really don't ever change my latch my latches my lashes this is from kiss and this these are the called the pompadour and they're just like the perfect little lash like they're not crazy they're not too much and they're not like exaggerating where is my glue oh, hold on you guys I know it's in here are you serious I'm like where's my glue it's in my hand I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. All right, so we got our lashes. Look, so I like to use this type of glue. This is called Galas. I get it on Amazon. It's in my Amazon storefront. This is this kills Duo, okay? Don't use Duo anymore. Duo sucks. I hate that lash glue. I feel like my lashes would always come off, but this one is really good, and um, your lashes stay on. So I definitely recommend. It's called Galas, C-A-L-L-A-S, and I get it on Amazon. Okay, we're gonna pop these babies on. Wow, I actually got it on on the first try this is so weird it's probably because you guys are just like staring at me that's why usually I have like the worst time especially in the inner corner when putting on this lashes so we did good today and I like to reuse my lashes maybe like I would say three to four times before I throw them out I just try to get as much use as I can with them and then what I notice is like I don't put too much glue on the lash strip um, because then it gets all glunky and gross that I just got this one on the first try too this is so crazy Crazy. Okay, so lashes are on and I like to go back with my black liquid eyeliner and kind of just like go over the lash strip So it just kind of blends in a little better that way. It doesn't look so fake You know like when you 
blend. So now we're just gonna get our mascara. This is called, this is the Maybelline, Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. And my girl Andrea actually put me on. There's not a lot much going on, a lot in here, a lot of product in here, but that's fine. I don't want it to be like too chunky and like too stick. You know what I mean? Like if you put too much mascara, I feel like your lashes just like stick and it looks very thick. So. Another thing about me is that I love to drop shit all the time. I have butter, what is it? Butter fingers or butter hands, whatever. I swear I'm always dropping shit. So we're just gonna put a little bit of mascara, blend everything together. And now we're gonna do a little bit more of the eyes. So we're gonna add some eyeliner. This eyeliner is everything, I love it. I've been so obsessed with it. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil and it's very creamy, it's waterproof, it's long lasting. This is in the color Corrupt. I like like a dark brown eye uh, under eyeliner and it has a little bit of glitter. I don't know if I said that already. So I had to sharpen it a little bit but I really like it because it just like glides on and you're not just like just going really hard and pressing on really hard just so you could get like a nice little line like it just like slides on you guys are gonna see like it just slides nicely. I don't know, I love wearing eyeliner now. I used to never wear eyeliner, but now I'm just doing it every single day. I would only do it when I would go out, like a special night or just like evenings. But now I do it now during the day just because I love the look. So I like to go back and I like to just like blend the eyeliner um, with a little bit of a brown eyeshadow. This is like my go-to. This is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. I've had it forever. I use it every single day and I like to get this brown right here. It is so absolutely filthy. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> but I mean, whose makeup palettes are clean anyway? So I like to go in and just kind of blend it out. That way it's not just like a straight line. I mean, sometimes I do a straight line, but I like the little smoky effect, the smoky look. See? It's so much better. And now we're gonna do blush. We're gonna do blush. Love this one. My go to Milani in the color Rose de Oro. And I like to mix it a little bit with my Dolce Pink. So I like to mix these two right now. It's just like a pretty bronzy golden look. Another one that I really like, you guys, is this Dior one. Super cute, um, a very coral, what's it called? This is called coral, I don't know what it's called coral. So we're gonna mix these two a little bit and we're gonna just put it on the apples of our cheeks. I can never get enough of blush. I love blush, like, oh. It's so pretty. It just really brings your face alive. Like I looked so pale and like a ghost right before this and now I look somewhat put together because of the blush. It really just brings your face alive. Gives you some color. So that's that. Okay, now that we have some color on my face, um, we're gonna move on to lips and I really like to use, I used to not really use um, lip liners, but now I do. And this is a eye pencil. I've been using it on my lips. Okay, so I guess I've been using an eye pencil <laughs> on my lips, whatever. It's been working either way. So this is from NYX Professional Makeup and it is uh, in the color Auburn right here. I really like this color. So we're gonna pop this on. I just got my lips done the other day for the first time. Now that Banks is two years old and I'm like done nursing and everything like that. Like I'm just taking care of me, doing my fillers, doing my lip stuff, my treatments and stuff. And it just feels so nice to be going back to that. So, cause like, you know, when you're nursing, you literally can't do anything. Like you can't do anything at all. There's even some facials that you can't do. So I got the lip liner on and we're gonna add this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and it is called the Cat Awakening. Yeah, cat, no, 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 sorry, cat walking. Yeah, cat walking color. It's really pretty. It's just like a pretty nice nude look. And then we are going to add the Makeup by Mario one that I was telling you guys in the Mocha Glow, just a little bit. This one can get really messy. Pretty, right? Now that I'm done with my makeup, I like to set everything and make sure everything is in place with the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector by Makeup by Mario and this is in the color medium. It just like sets everything, has a little bit of like a little golden and sparkle to it so I really like that and we just do a little bit all over so instead of doing the Laura, what is it, Laura Mercier that everyone does, I like, I just got this one and I'm obsessed with it because it just kind of gives you like a little golden look and it's not so white on my skin. So we got that and now I like to add some sparkle to the cheeks. We're gonna add some highlighter. This is also Mario. I have no idea I have so many Mario stuff. So this is called the Soft Glow Highlighter in the color Golden. It's really pretty, obviously really dirty because I'm always using it. And then I just like to put a tiny bit. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do is my nose. Wow, how can I forget my nose? So I usually like to do it with this and we're just gonna do a tiny bit. I don't I don't go crazy on the nose, it's just really little. Really little bit of product. If you put it down here, it like kind of gives your nose an instant lift. 
You guys hear Cinderella? She's like snoring right here. That little girl, Cinderella, my dog, she does not leave us at all. Like she does, she doesn't like to be alone. She just loves to be with us all the time. It's so cute. So it looks like the makeup is done. I love it. It's such a pretty like, it's my everyday look right now, you guys. It might be a little bit too much for some people, but for me, since we're in fall, I love the eyeliner and the nice like bronzy eye and uh, lips. So I like to set my makeup with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night stay all day so we're gonna mix this i don't have a fan <laughs> Whew, it looks so good i'm all done and then sometimes i just like to make sure it's nicely blended under the neck and ears but what do you guys think do you guys like it isn't it really pretty i just have to do my hair and everything's gonna look good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on how i do my makeup this is my everyday look and these are all my favorite things at the moment and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me let me know if there's any other videos that you guys want to see i love you guys so so i love you guys so so much have an amazing day bye